Hi, I'm Tim from lapsofshutter.com and we're just going to cover today what to do if your Samsung TV has got a half black screen. So this usually happens um, after you've had your TV for a year or two and after it's gone out of warranty, but it's usually pretty easy to fix. So I've got nine points that I'm going to cover briefly today. You can see each of them in more detail in the linked article that's in this video's description below. So the first step to take is to just try cold booting your TV. Um, so this is very easy to do. Just switch it off and unplug it. Hold down the physical power button for at least 15 seconds. Wait for at least 30 minutes for any residual power to drain. Then plug your TV back in and try switching it on. In most cases, uh, just a simple power cycle will fix your TV. If this hasn't worked, then try changing the uh, the HDMI cables around. So there could be a fault with the HDMI cables or some damage in the port itself. Uh, try taking out the HDMI cables, give them a good clean with compressed air or something similar and uh, firmly push, push them back into the slots. You can also try putting them into different HDMI slots on your TV if it's got multiple ports. Um, and finally, just if this doesn't work, just try taking all your HDMI cables out then bringing up your on-screen menu and uh, see if the half black screen uh, is covering the on-screen menu. If it is, then that means that there's a problem within the TV itself rather than within the external connections. So the next thing we'll try is just to update your TV's firmware. So for, for most Samsung TVs, you should have auto-updating. Um, just to check that's on, you can press the, the menu or the home button on your route, go to settings, click some support, so, and then software update and uh, just check auto update is on. For older TVs you need to update the firmware by USB and there's more details on how to do that in the linked article below. Uh, you can also just try changing your picture settings if the if the screen is not completely black on one side, if it's just a bit darker in places, you can just try changing the picture settings. So go to, go to home then settings uh, and the picture menu uh, you can try changing some of the picture modes. If that doesn't help, then go to Expert Settings and have a look at um, Brightness, um, Contrast, Tint. Uh, there's also should be a Gamma and White Balance on there, which should uh, should help you um, if the if the screen isn't too bad. Um, if it's still pretty dark or if the half of the screen is completely black, then just try factory resetting your TV. So press menu or home on your remote and go to settings, then general and privacy and reset. Uh, the default pin should be four zeros um, and then just reset your TV. If this hasn't helped, um, then it's likely to be a problem with your black, with your backlight. If there's um, areas which are just a bit darker than other areas, so say the top half of your screen is dark, but you can still see the picture, it's just not as bright as the bottom half, then that's probably going to be a backlight issue. Um, it's likely that the some of the individual backlights themselves have failed, so either the LEDs have failed, or the individual strips that the LEDs are on have failed, um, possibly the connectors been between the strip strips has failed, um, because usually TVs use a set short length LED strip, something like a 16 inch strip and these are all connected up in series and um, uh, the cold solder connector joints between these strips um, are quite a notorious failure point. So you need to open up your TV and use a multimeter to check these. There's more details on how to do that in the linked article below. Um, if half the screen is totally black so maybe like the left half or the right half of the screen is black, then that's probably going to be a TCON issue. So it's either uh, a problem with the TCON connector or or with um, a clock failure within the TCON board itself. So there's more details on how to um, diagnose this and, and how to fix it in the linked article. Uh, this is something you can do at home. The TCON boards, if you have to buy a new one, it's... Um, they're only about $30 or something off eBay. They're pretty cheap. Um, you can also just try um, playing around with the, the TCON connectors and blocking off some of the signals using tape. Um, if an individual clock has failed on the TCON board, then this can help fix it. 
But again, there's more details for that in the article below.